Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, it is uh, Wednesday morning for us, and the next two days are um, Wednesday and Thursday are are kind of our well Tuesday also Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Those are our hardcore listing days. They are yes. Um, oh, I did. I don't know if you saw last night. I did order. I listed the lens we got with this mm -hmm. yesterday, but um, needed a new battery for this. So I ordered one uh, yesterday. Okay. Hopefully yeah. this works because that would be an another $100 for that thing. Uh, so today is going to be all about uh, pulling a few orders. Had a decent sales day on three platforms. Yeah, we sold 12. We had 12 orders on between three platforms. Yeah, and um, and then we're just going to be listing the rest of the day. That's what we're going to be doing. So. Yeah, we're going to knock out some listings so we can get some more stuff this weekend. All right, we do have some orders to get out this morning, as always. Well, hopefully, as always. I'm trying to remember... I have I have had days before Candace since we've since you've been working with me have we had any days where we didn't have an order I don't think so I don't think so either no however before you work with me and the store was a lot smaller mm -hmm. like maybe one one time a year I would have days with no orders so I don't think what that. What made you think of that? Well, I was just thinking, like, of course we have to pull orders, but you know, orders are not a given. Right, it's not. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and we have had days where, like, we we have like any given day we can have twenty five orders in a day. We could have six orders in a day, and you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. But but anyway, we do have orders to pull. I don't know why I went there. I will say generally, um from our history we found that the more you list or the better stuff you list the more you sell. the better yeah. the better the quality matters so much oh yeah yeah because like we can let like if you're just listing mediocre or like lower the mediocre stuff yeah it'll sell to some extent but i mean you got to list a ton of it i, I truly so. do believe if you're listing like really unique and cool items that even if you don't sell that item to someone it 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 brings people to your store and they start looking at your other stuff. Seems seems that way. That's that's my theory. I don't have solid proof. No. But that yeah. is my theory. So um I came across a question. It's one of those head scratchers where there's not like a really solid answer to it. It's just like a conversational thing. So okay. I thought it would be fun um for us to talk about this. Um the question is from Exit Screaming forty six thirty seven. Just curious, does anybody ever feel guilty when they score a great find from an unsuspecting person unsuspecting. selling at a garage sale? <laughs> but you, but it's you, a way to put it, huh? Yeah, when they say unsuspecting person, it makes almost makes them sound like a um, sounds like a sounds they like know, they didn't know they were selling it. it sounds like a crime scene. <laughs> it sounds like a victim in a crime scene. Um, I'm kind of on the fence on this one, but not really. Um, I feel like knowledge is at everyone's at fingertips now um and even if it's an older person they they generally know someone younger that could help them get this knowledge um about the value of their item now whether they choose to seek that knowledge or not that's on them um if, if they don't do their homework then they pay the price or they don't get the price <laughs> what do you think hmm okay so the the, the question is do you ever feel guilty? So answer that. Do you ever feel guilty? No, you don't. I don't, I don't feel okay. guilty. No. Okay. And that's why um, I, I feel like in this day and age, people have the tools they need to figure out what their stuff is worth. Yeah. You know, and I'm assuming they're talking about um, score a great fine, meaning getting something for a great price. That's what I'm assuming this question is referring to. Right. Um, so, yeah, no, I don't. I don't. The only time, okay, so like our normal, our normal garage sale kind of thing. Okay, so like, all right, I have this Nest thermostat out right here. It's probably, I mean, we bought it for $10. The lady knew how much she paid for it. They never installed it. It's clearly just like new open box condition. 
she knew how much they paid. She knew what it was worth. She still sold it for $10 mm -hmm. and it's worth seven to 10 times that much. And she knew that, but she knew, she also knew that she didn't want to, she just wanted to have the garage sale, get a little something for it, get it out of her life and move on. So I, I feel like there was no information advantage we had on her because she knew what it was worth. She just didn't want to go through, you know, like sometimes we take it as, as sellers, we take it, we take for granted that, oh yeah, you just pop some photos up, you throw it up on your eBay account that you've been working on for years to have a good reputation mm -hmm. as a seller. Yep. You, you take your photos with your $500 camera, you put it in your storage system, you do all these things. You put it on a platform that's in front of millions of people right? instead of maybe 50 that walk up to a garage sale. And then when you sell it, you have to pack it well, you have to get it out, make sure it gets to the customer. Uh, you hope they're happy with it. It works for them. Every, everything's good. If they have an issue, you have to stand good for that on that end. I think a lot of times we, you know, not enough value is given to that whole process, which is a lot. There's a lot of value there. Um, and I, I think a lot of times it's not just, it's not just an information deficit. It's also you know, the, the time and effort and, and the materials and the skills and all that to actually carry that out. Mm -hmm. Like she probably, the, the lady I bought this from, she probably has, she probably has a good job that she goes and works hard at every day. And when she gets home, she doesn't want to do this. Right. Right. Yeah. And she had to do something with it. So she sold it in her garage sale. Yeah. I mean, I don't feel there. I never feel guilty about stuff like this. Or like your your buy it for five, sell for fifty. Like those people all know at garage sales, they pretty much usually know they're selling at a drastic discount. Now the ones that the ones that I do sometimes feel a little guilty about are when we buy something for I don't know five dollars and it ends up being worth five hundred or fifteen dollars so, worth a thousand, like that Pyrex. Like the Pyrex. Yeah. Um, now, and like I said, again, the people running that cell were, they were like probably our age or younger. So, I mean, they do know how they to, know how to look it up. They just yeah. chose not to, Right. they chose not to look that particular yeah. thing up yeah. for whatever reason, mm -hmm. because they didn't have the knowledge. And I mean, do I feel a little guilty, uh, just a little bit of guilt? Like, okay. You remember the time I bought the, uh, man, I, it was, it was this, this like, uh, Christmas tree that had are the dogs all over it. And yeah, what kind of dogs were on it? Uh, German Shepherds. I German think, Shepherd yeah. Christmas tree mm -hmm. in the box in the closet. I see it, and I think it was like uh, who was it? What what comp? Danbury Mint or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. It's one of those companies where I'm like, okay, I know this has value just because of who made it. And I I bring it up to the person running the sale. It was like a family run estate sale. Yeah. I bring it up to him. I'm like, how much do you want for this? I want $20 for that. I'm like, I will pay you $20 for that. Mm -hmm. Like, did she, did she know it was worth way more than $20? Of course she did. Did she know it was worth the, how much did we sell it for? I don't, I, I don't I'll know. put it up here. I, I want to say it was around 500, but y'all can see the screenshot. Did she think it was worth that much? Probably not. No. Did she I, probably was just thinking about how much they paid for it. She probably thought it was worth maybe a hundred bucks, maybe, yeah. as my guess. Yeah. Now, did she know it was going to be worth five hundred or whatever it was? I'm guessing not. Did I feel a little guilty about it once I, like, I didn't, I, I didn't even look it up before I bought it. Twenty bucks, I knew it was a, a for sure buy. Did I feel a little guilty? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, I mean, I, it's okay to feel a little guilt. Did you really, though? I, I mean, I don't think I would have. Uh, just a little bit, maybe. Mostly, I was just happy I got a good score. Yeah. I mean, we do this for a living, but on the other hand, I mean, I, do I feel guilty enough to where I want to say, hey, this is worth X amount of dollars. I think I need to give you more than that. You need more? No. No, uh, no not really. No. Um, now... It, it's different for me in a situation where you're dealing with someone a lot 
like with Guy say. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to do something like that to Guy. No. And Guy knows how much his stuff is worth. He sets the price. We buy it. And I wouldn't want to do it to someone that I have a business relationship with. There's, I wouldn't be looking to... both sides in that situation. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, for me, that sometimes there's a little, just a little twinge of guilt. It's like, I don't think I ever have felt guilt. I don't really feel like uh, it's not to the point where I have trouble sleeping at night or anything. <laughs> yeah. But I, I feel sometimes I'm like, oh, well, that's too bad. You don't know what your thing was worth. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I think that's on them. You know? I feel like I've probably done it before in the past. It's, it's just like you know what? It's similar to like when you. Uh, if I'm in a spot where I, I'm getting somebody to do a car repair, or a plumbing repair, or something like that, um, my lack of knowledge costs me in those situations, mm -hmm. right? Like, how bad does it cost me? I don't know. Yeah. But uh, one thing I will say, though, is that typically at sales, uh, in those kind of situations where something's worth a bunch of money, uh, usually I'm asking them how much and they're telling me what they want and usually I'm just paying the price. Right. Usually. So it's not a situation where I'm like talking to them sometimes. Or, or bullying them and you know. Right, right. Yeah. It's just how much do you want for this? $20. Okay, here you go. Uh, and, you know, and I can, I can give a little, you know, if I don't buy it, somebody else will. You know, you can use those kind of things. But there's, there's a slight, slight bit of guilt. <laughs> Not for you. Huh? I couldn't tell by the way you sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean sometimes I'm like, I, I it it passes quickly. Yeah. Do, do, do y'all ever feel guilty whenever you like hit a really like a boom like, I'm talking like a a major score, a five to five hundred or a five dollars to a thousand dollars score. I mean I know it feels awesome and it's a rush. Do you ever think about the other side? Man, it's too bad they didn't know what they had. Yeah. Or, you know, like, what if you were on the other end of that, you know? If so. I were the, on the other end, I would have looked it up. Well, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the thing, well, that's one thing you got to think about, too. The, as time moves on, that information gap is probably going to be harder and harder to find because younger people know how to research better. Well, that's why, like... When market Facebook Marketplace first came out, you could find incredible deals. Yep. Now everybody on there knows how to research eBay prices and values of stuff. So it's hard to find deals on there. Yeah. yeah. I, I, but, but typically, though, at garage sales, you know, that's another thing, too. At garage sales uh, and estate sales, yeah, they want to get money. But usually they just want to move the stuff out get it out <laughs> and it goes back to what i said they don't have the like the ebay audience they only have they can only capture the attention of the people that walk up to their sale right and what's the odds of somebody walking up and needing a nest thermostat you know mm, besides fair, a reseller fairly good actually on that you think the, on that particular thing but most things yes i agree yeah. with you yeah. i agree with you all right, we we do have orders to pull, so yeah, we sold something last night. We did sell at least one thing. <laughs> All righty, time to pull orders. You ready? Let's go. Okay. All right, we have. Uh, oh, I actually put it on the shelf. I was looking for my little doll clothing. Oh, you're box. done with it. I'm done. It's on a shelf. It's on five echo, and it's it's in, the little box is labeled D. Okay. Um, we have two different orders coming out of there, ten and fifteen. Five echo. Yeah. Must be it right here. Yep. This is more uh, Topper Dawn, huh? Yes. So ten has like orange and green outfit to help you real fast, and fifteen is blue. That's probably fifteen. You just pulled out. Yeah. There you go. All right. Ten. Right. Is this on the same order? No, there's two different orders. Um, so D ten. So that's two outfits for ten dollars. And then D15 is three outfits for $20. Okay. Let's put this back up. All right. We went ahead and pulled down a few dog clothing items. And we, we were able to combine another box, two, another two boxes into one. Yeah. We pulled, there were three boxes. We pulled them all down, pulled our orders, and we combined dog M and dog B. And then broke that box down and we'll use it for shipping. Mm -hmm. So we have three dog items we sold. 
On eBay, we sold that gray and white hoodie. Eight dollars okay. for that fleece hoodie. And then we sold that blue dog harness for thirteen dollars. Okay. And then on Poshmark, we sold a Jafar costume for um, twenty. All right. Hey, the the dog stuff just keeps on producing for us. Yep, it's been great. Okay, we sold some of those little that little Clairol set to go travel hot rollers, the little vintage ones on Five Delta in the box. Okay. Five Delta. Oh, I mean, you got me. You always put everything on this side, but this time you didn't. You oh, must have been running out of room. Yeah. We're starting to have some holes in the shelves now. But there was what maybe a month ago where I couldn't find a spot for anything. Hard, I mean, it was tight. We were having to get creative. Uh, those sold for thirty. I picked those up in the state sale for maybe like five bucks, I think. Yeah, man, that's pretty. It's got a good box and everything. Yeah, it does. Nine Charlie. We sold a little music box. Um, it's a gold label collection. It's a little wooden box with a train that goes around. I remember that. It's in the it's in it's a box. We paid like two dollars for that in yeah. the state sale. I remember mm -hmm. that. It's on nine what? Charlie. Yeah, this thing is actually kind of cool. It is. It's a neat little music box. This is like the Mr. Christmas people, huh? Mm-hmm. There's yeah. a gold label collection. Yeah. Seen that before. Yeah, a lot of you spotted that stuff sitting on the table. I did. Um we got we got thirty five for that. Yeah, that one's pretty good. In the Joe drawer, we sold a cap gasket, cylinder reservoir <laughs> cap gasket. So random. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> Master cylinder gasket, 42072? Yes. Okay. $8 for that. Man, we saw some random stuff. <laughs> the Ruger backpack you listed yesterday sold for okay. 25 It's on 4 Bravo. It's crazy. I could not find a comp for this for anything. We found one on Worth Point from like 2017. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we did find one and they sold it for 20 something. Yeah. It's not like a super awesome pack or anything. And we didn't pay a ton for it either. So, what did we get for it? 25 and we paid $2. Yeah, so that's fine. That's yeah. good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. it's, it is cool though. All right. I touched this thing yesterday. Uh oh. Or one of these things. Okay. Sunday morning quarterback. Oh yeah. I was making room, moving things around for my um. Okay, I'm gonna have to dig in there and get them. Yeah. Okay, I went and pulled this guy out of here. Uh, if y'all been watching for a long time, you know. We've had this for like 20 years. No, we, <laughs> well, it's been probably five years. It's a long time. It has. Um. Probably sold. I don't know how many of these. Because we've done the we end re -list, re list thing yeah. and stuff. And we still have 41 available is it's, what it says. Okay, I think we started with about 100. Yeah. And how much do we get for these? 15. Okay, they've all sold for about that. Yeah. About 15. It's been a slow, slow, steady thing. Yeah. Um, we sell probably about 10 a year, maybe. Or, <laughs> right. Yeah. But here's the deal. We bought like over 100 of the, these things at a garage sale five years ago for five dollars for the whole, the whole stack. stack yeah so the money we've, we've been in the profit since we sold the first one right right yeah. <laughs> and they don't take up that much room yeah it's a little bread and butter thing all right we sold a real best of dean martin on five bravo okay tell you when we really sold a bunch is during um wait, hang on let me let me focus here here we go best of dean martin we got it right here tell you when we really sold a bunch is during that national championship oh, yeah. run in yeah. 2019 we must have sold 20 that year mm -hmm. is that it yeah that's it 19 dollars okay and then our etsy order is two sets of teaspoons in the flatware drawer coronation teaspoons Okay, I'll let you handle that. Yeah, they're right here. We sold both sets we had left. And we got $30 for both sets. I thought it was, okay, it's 30 
30 plus ship or something? I thought it was 40. No, they were 15 each and then $30 uh, okay. plus ship. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. All right. That's everything. Okay. Decent little sales that I like. You Easy know, packing too, e huh? eBay, eBay wasn't awesome yesterday. It was like three something. Yeah. But then having some orders on the other two platforms kind of brought that up a little bit right. to help it out. Yeah. So, yeah, let me go ahead and get this stuff packed. All right. Uh, actually, you get to list a lot today. And, well, Candace, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're taking a clock apart? <laughs> so, this thing was, um, sometimes when you would, like, pick it up or set it down, it would make, like, a loud noise. So, I took it apart to see if I could see what's going on. And the, um, the clock actually works really well you can see it's spinning really smoothly so i'm thinking just the mechanism wasn't screwed in there good or something was just kind of rattling around so I, I took it apart to discover that i did kind of clean it inside while i had it open but now man i'm having trouble getting it back together because these three holes all have to line up have to line up and then these two have to line up and this is all just kind of floating around in there so i'm struggling okay but, I'll, I'll help you in a minute yeah <laughs> well good news though um whenever i bought the toner y'all have seen in the past few videos uh this came with it too the scan snap ix 500 and from what i could see on comps these things sell for about 150 used sell for about 150 plus ship and i put the software on here and this thing works yep boom scanned and then it's going to take it a minute to process it or whatever. Well, no, it didn't take that long. Look, there it is. So mm -hmm. I'm about to list this sucker tested. Oh, you took one of my uh, garage sale routes. Huh? Yeah. I was like, where, how did you I was just that? looking for something to scan. Yeah, that's all. No, I got that. I was, I was thinking it was already on your computer. I was confused. This is what Candace uses. Uh, this is just a few stops on this one. But she'll put, like, for customer. I don't know why they have these fields, but... This, sure. is a, this app I use is actually for like couriers. It's meant to be used for couriers. So there's all kind of fields in there. But I like it because it it re, it arranges the route for you. Um, and then I just print out my route. I, there's an app also I use to actually navigate with my phone. But I print this out simply just to because I like physical things in my hand. And then I can also write down how much um, we spent at each stop. Yep. That's so, a good little log. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right, I can list this guy for another hundred and fifty dollars. Nice. My buy might beat your Pyrex buy, oh, but it is. but yeah. I have to sell so many pieces to do it. Yeah, mine might take five years to sell. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it, it's gonna sell. Yeah. I don't know if you're gonna get your thousand or not. You might have yeah. to get, take nine hundred eventually. Yeah, or I think it's it's probably gonna be more. I'm thinking like eight or nine, but I started at a thousand just to see what happened. Yeah, you can't go up yeah <laughs> after you know you can't go up after it sells yeah. so all right yeah feeling good at man i still have three three dell laptop bags i can list from that buy too whatever which, those are worth <laughs> they're probably not worth much they, yeah. they might be 12 dollars a piece or something but i've got three of them i know you know yeah. and it's a th that kind of thing is just to throw it in a poly mailer kind of deal so yeah i'll list them mm -hmm. you know well, good morning, everyone. It is day two. Good morning, Candace. Good morning. Um, we had an excellent sales night. Um, not necessarily quantity, but uh, dollar value of the items that sold. I figured that would happen. Yeah, but we. Um, the, maybe not. Maybe not to that extent. The stuff we found at um, the sales this past weekend uh, really hit home. Yeah, it pretty so, much all sold. Yeah. <laughs> all the good stuff sold. So we're uh, we we're excited to see that. So I guess we're gonna go right in and pull orders, huh? Yeah, the only way it could have been better yesterday is if um, her Pyrex sold. Yeah. It, it hadn't sold yet. No, That's, not yet. <laughs> that would have been the ultimate, man, that would have been, that would have been a really, really good day if that would have happened. Yes. But it yes. was still, it was an awesome day. Um, and it makes me, today is Thursday, it makes me really want to uh, find some scores at garage sales this weekend. I know, I'm excited because the... The weather's going to be cooler, so I think there's going to be a lot more sales. Yeah, I'm it's excited. gonna it's gonna be in like uh, it's gonna be in like the fifties on Saturday, mm -hmm. like Sat the low, not the high. Right. Yeah. Yeah, for the low. Yeah. yeah, we're we're about to have some really nice weather. I know. I, I love it. 
Okay, first item is in the Joe George Three Topper Dawn Dolls. Um, I sold as is for repair. They've got like the green faces and messed up face and hair and stuff. So. Yeah, look, they have like zombie looking faces almost. And then there's the green yeah. on the sides of their legs. Um, sold those for 20 for all three. Okay. Six Charlie, we sold that Canon lens. Yeah, I just listed this up. Actually, it's sitting right next to the camera I tested it on, and it worked perfectly. $100 so, for that. Paid five for that at the garage sale this past weekend. Yep. 11 Alpha, we have a Juju Smith Schuster jersey. 11 Alpha. 11 Alpha. It's going to be in that box up there. Okay, yeah. I'll be right back. I'm going to get that down. Actually, I'll bring y'all up here with me. Because I think I'm not going to take it down. I'm going to have to hand these down to Candace. Yeah. Oh, wait. Never mind. I don't. It's right here. Right there. It's right in front. Here. Trade me. Okay. I thought I was going to have to dig through a bunch of stuff. But no. That's from when uh, Juju was at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yep. Yeah. Sold that for $22.49. Okay. Next item is the Fujitsu Scan Snap Scanner on two Foxtrot. Yep, I went, went online and I found a um, I found a Mac driver for this thing. I tested it out, hooked it up to the computer. Everything worked good. Ended right. up selling that for one forty. That was yeah. part of the big ink buy. Yeah, whenever we bought the toner, we bought. I've said this a million times yeah. now. Uh, we bought six toners. We bought that, and we bought three laptop bags, which I got all. The, everything's been listed, and now everything's been sold except for the three laptop bag, and did bags. Did you end up uh, doing those as one listing, like grouping them together? Yeah, the the laptop bags. I'm trying to remember where I even put them. Where the heck did I put them? I don't know. But yeah, the laptop bags were fairly low value so but they are pretty nice i lotted them all together did a, a three lap top bag lot and i'm trying to remember where i put them it doesn't matter <laughs> i'll find out whenever we sell them yep all right next item is a topper dawn outfit with a poodle okay five echo d2 that is the topper dawn container it's a beige colored uh outfit i'll see it from here d2 yep okay sold that for twenty dollars all right let me get put this back in the beverly drawer we sold another ral partha new old stock figure set yeah just sold one of these what over the weekend, yeah, a few days ago. Is um, it uh eight eight dash one one six chieftains eight eight one one six? Yep. Uh, Twenty dollars for those. Two Bravo. We sold the Google Nest. Just listed this yesterday. Thermostat, not just Google Nest. Thermostat. Yeah. Bought this at a garage sale this past weekend for ten dollars. Sold that for one ten. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. Six Foxtrot Nintendo DSi bundle. Okay, same same kind of deal. Although this this was part of a buy that we did. This was like we bought everything for like sixty bucks, right? Everything for sixty. This is about half of it. Yeah. Well, we had to spend about thirty on this. Right. But and we, the lens came from there too. Yeah, that, this came from the same sale as that lens. Yep. Um, ended up selling that bundle for a hundred dollars. Yeah, that was good. And then from the same sale, six Delta fighting machete DVD set. Yeah. Eighty dollars for that. Yeah. So this, 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 that, all from same sale, five thirty a dollar. Yeah. And it, I was telling Candace, it's funny the like that kind of shows how people value things. The guy evidently valued video games highly and other stuff not as much, yeah. right? Isn't that weird? 
And we still have a bunch more stuff from that sale that we listed. I mean, we, yeah. we've got a lot of good things from him. Well, we still have this camera, which uh, I'm waiting on. I did order batteries. They shipped yesterday, I think. So I'll be able to test that. That should be worth, if it works, over $100, too. Nice. A little over 100 Nice. All right, guess what we sold? Pyrex. Pujol. Uh, oh, we sold a poo hole? Yeah. Oh, wow. Four Bravo dash A129. Okay. Man, it's. We don't sell. Well, we, we don't have very many cards left. Yeah. We were so, on a card tear there for a while. And, well, we had a bunch listed. Yeah. I, I, I I would spend. It, which one is it? Uh, A129. Oh, I actually see it right here on top. It's like a, a hologram looking card. Okay. Got it. It says Z Nut series. I don't know what that means. I have no idea either. Um, Is he like holding the 1916 Z Nuts? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Sold that for $7. In the Boba Fett drawer, we sold a action figure, Warbird. It's a girl. A girl hero. Is this her? Yeah. I don't know if she's a hero or not. She might be bad. I don't know. Um, eighteen dollars for that. Oh, she looks. She looks like a bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we sold a CD, Willie Nelson. I just five, list, yeah, listed five this Charlie yesterday. Dash right. I actually have. It's kind of going through. We we have some decent stuff in there with those CDs. I was still kind of mad at myself for for buying them. <laughs> And sometimes I can't just I just can't resist. He sees a bunch of stuff for cheap and he has to buy it. Yeah. Eighteen dollars for that. I'm guilty. And then we have an item on Poshmark. Oh yeah. Um, it's on one fox trot. One fox trot. It's a Ike field jacket and pants from the 1950s. U.S. Army. It's kind of a different spot. Oh, it's on top. I got it. All right. And that sold for 50. Okay, I was just weighing it because you can go on Poshmark. Up to five pounds. All right, this is under four pounds like it sits. So I could put it in a box. Whoa. Oop, about to dump it out. It's a good thing it's a double bag there. Yeah, so it can go in a box without going over the box. Right, I can, yeah. Now what we've done, I've had a few things I've listed on Poshmark that have gone were over five pounds, so I just kind of built that extra pricing into the price of the item, the extra shipping cost. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was a good day. That's like, uh, I don't know. That's not. It's not that much stuff, and that's. And not any terribly hard packers. No, nah, this the guy. Scanner's a little tricky. That's it. Scanner. It's not tricky as so much. It's just. It's bulky it's, and it's heavy. heavy. Yeah. It's heavy, so I'm not positive. I, that might be going ups. I'm not sure, it's but yeah. Super heavy, yeah. Everything else though is super easy. Yep. Like super easy. And a little while later, that's everything all boxed up and ready to roll. Everything is USPS today. I thought the um, I thought that scanner might have to go ups, but it's actually going to South Carolina, so I was able to do it uh, ground advantage still, even though it's uh, like 10 pounds. All right, we are in listing mode now. Candace, you working on your uh, suitcases, huh? Yep, I listed them. One of them's inside, the smaller one's inside. Um, decided to list them for 60. Just because of the color, you know, there's uh, yeah. even a worth point. I, did, I found a red one on worth point, but not this pattern, so. What did what did we buy this for? $5, $5. for both? Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Yeah. Then I am uh, about to list this guy, and I gotta figure out First of all, we we did find out this is a Marine squadron, refueling squadron, uh, that is still active. I think it's in Okinawa still, I believe. I'll have to look that up before I am going to look that up before I list it. It's interesting that to me that there's a clock face here. Yeah, that's, with, that's when we looked them up on Google, that's like their um, unit emblem. The, the clock face is part of it too? Yeah. It was? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, 
Hmm. I just don't know how I'm going to price I'm I'm going to probably price it kind of high. You know what I would do? I, and there may not be any of this out here, but this is where I would start. Um, search for this type of plaque from um, like that era or like Japan. You know, just try to see if there's any, because you're not going to find that exactly. Oh, I know I won't. Part, you know. This kind of thing, you just have to put a number on it. Yeah. And I, I mean, the number, I'll, I will look a little bit. The number's probably, I have... We've actually, I've actually sold quite a few things like this. Yeah, military, military, plaques. military stuff that was like obviously one of a kind or unique. Right. And I mean, usually the usually the number is not going to be super high on something mm -hmm. like that. I'm thinking probably a hundred dollars would be the top of the mark. Yeah. Is my guess, and I might just price it at that. It's a good big size though, so it has that going for it. The only but the only bad thing, no, not the bad thing, but the thing I don't like about it, and somebody did mention in the comments too, is that uh, maybe cut the bottom off. But I am not going to do that. If somebody wants to buy it and cut the bottom off, right. that's cool, and then they could just come around like yep. with a jigsaw and just make the circle, and they could hang that up. Yeah. So, but yeah, man, we uh, we all that stuff we bought last weekend, y'all. It's pretty much all listed except for some smaller stuff. No, some bigger stuff too. Oh. I've listed like I've done like three CD listings now. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch more of those, and then I have that big uh, CPR mannequin. Oh I, yeah, which I'm probably going to go ahead and tackle today. Just just pull off the band aid. I have to, because I I'm, I don't want to just yeah I'm going to have to list the mannequin. I, as a matter of fact, I'm going to list this, and then I'm going to list the mannequin. That's one of those things. If you don't do it, it ends up in death pile, and you, right. don't, you don't want to... It's too you know, big. It's too big it's to big do that. big and heavy. Um, we did have somebody ask us... Let me pull these, grab these numbers. Okay. We had a, um, someone ask if we had gotten our money back on the Nutcrackers yet, like how much have we sold in them yet. So I thought I would just give you all a little update. Um, so our, our listing was 195 items um and the listing price was twenty two thousand eight hundred and fifteen now remember we paid six thousand for all of them um so i went and pulled the numbers and we've sold 85 nutcrackers um the gross amount is ten thousand one hundred and sixty two and that that is not a, that uh that number just because like not all gross amounts are are as gross as other amounts um that number is just the sale price of the the cracker. It does not, not, not shipping. It's not including shipping. Right. Um, and then we figured about 15% fees. So that brings it down to 8637 So yes, we are in the profit now and everything else from now is pure profit. Yeah, we've been in profit for a while. So, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and we mentioned that uh, because you'll see it on the next video. Uh, somebody, we just had like a, today was a very good nutcracker sales day. Yes. And we're hoping that's going to continue as we yeah. get f deeper and deeper. We are in fourth quarter. Yeah. I mean, Christmas is coming. So, and we can tell people are starting to shop. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, we were very happy with the orders we had come in today so far. Yeah. We also got, I'm not going to say too much and Candace could get mad at me. We also got word that there may be a uh, another private buy in our future but i'm not going to say any more than that yeah can i say that much at least yeah go ahead okay i already did we're not going to get your hopes up because <laughs> we don't know if it's going to happen or we not. know we, yeah yeah i I, th I feel like it will like th this has been brewing for a while and I, I think it's finally gonna gonna happen here in the next couple of days uh y'all know about it as soon as it does though yep so all right let me get back i got my photos just got to get this sucker popped up thinking I'm going to do 100 and I'm going to put a best offer on it right away. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. I think I paid $9 for that, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. All right. We are trying to wrap up our uh, listing from the stuff we bought this past week. And I think... There's not... If there's anything left, maybe a couple... Oh, the mannequin. I still got to do the mannequin. And I think I have... There's a few cookbooks up here. Oh, uh, yeah. We have some good ones, too. Yeah, we do. Okay. And I have um, this pan... We have these Jim Beam shirts. That's, this is stuff we just bought. Yeah. So, 
and um in my glassware over there which i don't i still don't know who the maker is I, i've been researching all week trying to find these darn things cannot find them i put out fillers in facebook groups nobody knows anything about them so i don't know so you just got to make up your own price i'm gonna have to yeah just and, buy subject matter and just the way they look and, and the quantity and you get to put rare they are rare <laughs> y'all i've done like google image searches just scrolling through just images if, if can't like i guess there's probably a few times maybe but in general if candace can't find something i i don't bother looking because i know i trust that she's already by the time she's told me she can't find something she's done ebay terapeak worth point google google image facebook, facebook groups, groups. Yeah. she's done she like y'all even found i thought maybe they were libby because libby liked to put the gold trim on their glasses so i found this cool website that has all these old libby catalog like pictures from their their actual catalogs and advertisements and i went through all those oh my know? god so yeah i'm telling y'all i have looked and looked so i'm i'm done they're just, just make up a make up a fi fictitious maker of things uh, uh, these are the rare Italian. Honey, these are the honey cut version. Italian, blah blah blah. I mean, if, if it's something you can't find, Italian glass. <laughs> that's what I've told Candace before. Like when we're not, like we have something like really unique, and we we think it's probably this. Like we're 90 percent, it's this, but we're not a hundred percent or whatever. I'm like, how are they going to prove you wrong? Somebody out there knows, <laughs> knows these glasses. Somebody knows. Right. Yeah. I just haven't encountered that person. They are cool. You know one thing I'm sure of? What? Somebody will want them. Oh, yeah. They are cool. They are. Because they're going to be like, what? I've never... And look, the this group I put them in, there's like 20,000 members or whatever. So if nobody had feedback that tells you something, and I got a lot of the... Um, O face reactions so oh like they want them uh, or are, like are they, what, or what is that i've never seen that before yeah hey, hey you know what y'all do y'all to go to uh, a pyrex group and go hey uh is this worth anything is this worth and, and do this that would be like a flex <laughs> flex i've got this in a garage so i you, found this dumpster diving is yeah this worth anything? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you they would get so mad they would see right through that I know. <laughs> um but yeah it's it's thursday our time right now and um we are planning on going to garage sales in the morning of course especially after last week like i'm kind of fainting to go i don't know about you yeah um so yeah tonight we have a football game to go to and then come home and plan the garage sale route so we're gonna go ahead and like clear the deck for our usps just to have it done yeah we sold a ton of nutcrackers but most of the nutcrackers are going to like one person uh so that's going to be tomorrow but we do have another nutcracker and a couple because other they're things UPS, that's what right I, yeah there's not a hurry on ups right um so we're going to go ahead and pull what what else we've had come in um the first item is a dog costume a snake cc3 three what size is it extra small cat size <laughs> There there's is a cat. There's yeah. a cat and a dog on here. Cat size. There's or a very small dog. Now that dog is not actually. I mean that cat is not actually too mad looking on this picture. Oh, he likes being a snake. Huh? Where's the size? It's probably on the tag. Right? I mean, I think it's the right size. Yeah, extra small. Extra small. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, so that sold for thirteen dollars. We have a Topper Dawn outfit on 5 Echo in the D box, D12. Back in the Topper Dawn box. We're, we're really excited right now, y'all, because we're seeing Nutcracker sales just starting to pop. And it was like what, what we always planned on, and like we uh, quote unquote knew would happen, but we didn't really know. Yeah, that was the plan. <laughs> like, to see him take off around fourth quarter. All right. All right, that's uh, Shocker Frocker is the name of that dress. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it sold for $15. Man, it looks new. It looks brand new. Yeah, a lot of that clothing did. Okay. We have a nutcracker. All right, let me go put this back and then we'll go pull our cracker. I'm going to be a cracker packer here tomorrow too yep. and today. Humpty Dumpty on 12 Delta and left. 12 Delta left. 12 Delta left. Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a shelf. 
It should be pretty easy to spot. Uh, where is Delta anyway? It's right here. Yeah. Yeah, he should look like a friggin' egg. There he is. Yeah, oh yeah, I remember him. I remember you. Fancy egg. He's got his fancy little clothing on. That's the, is this the only Humpty we had? Yeah. Dumpty? Okay. Yeah. You know, look at him. He's got his hat on and everything. He sold for 110. All righty. He kind of looks like a girl, though. What, with the eyelashes? And the, the red lips? Huh. Is that Mrs. Humpty? Mrs. Humpty. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Dumpty. <laughs> what a name. What a name. Like, uh, we all, like, just heard that since we were kids. I never thought about never it. Never really thought about it. What kind of name is Humpty Dumpty, anyway? Yeah, if you really that, think about how, like... What how, is that? Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dumpty. <laughs> oh, man. I never thought he'd be fancy. I know. He's a very fancy gentleman. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed. And it's not going out today. Mail already ran. But it'll go out tomorrow. And we'll have a head start. Because hopefully we're going to have a bunch of garage sales to go to. Fingers crossed. Yep. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching. We will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.